I'm glad I decided to come out tonight. You look stunning. Wrong! Well, what do I say then? That she looks horrible and I want to go home? Of course. Like, you gotta be a jerk about it. Ladies love that. They don't like the clingy guys. Are you sure? Like, 100% sure, dude. What does this even have to do with your grand novel anyways? First of all, it's a self-help book. And second, it's to document all the type of fish in the sea you encounter while dating. So if one day doesn't work out, there's always other options. You're an idiot. I'm not the one in full makeup and a wig. Well, I mean, you have to look the part to act the part. What do you have so far? Dating is like the ocean. You swim through this ocean, hoping to find the perfect fish during the journey. But along the way, there's always the chance of crossing the wrong fish and getting your leg bitten off. Or in this case, you're heartbroken. I'm writing this self-help book in an attempt to map this ocean and to document all the different types of fish and creatures it hold. I'm going to gather data in the best way I can. Speed dating. Hi, my name's Cynthia. Nice to meet you. Hi, I am Brian. Brian Cutterson. Nice to meet you, Sylvia. <laughs> sorry? My name's Cynthia. I, oh, so sorry. I didn't... I am honestly, like, so offended right now. First, you didn't get my name right, and then second... Look at this menu! There's not a single organic dish on here! What does it take to get grass-fed, hormone-free chicken? <laughs> do I have to vlog about this? So what do you do for a living? I work at health retail as a quinoa and kale specialist. A lot of people think it's called quinoa, but it's actually quinoa. Well, I am a writer, and I'm working on this self-help book, and I also work at the news. Excuse you? The local news? I cannot date a Trump supporter. I mean, did you see his last tweet? He is so- Cynthia was like a beta fish. She was pretty- Are you writing about me? But she was ready to fight anyone. The only fish right for her would be a bottom feeder. A dull, quiet one that didn't do anything to start trouble. Someone who hangs around on the edge of things and likes to clean up the tank after everyone else messes it up. I'm not really that type of fish. Hi, I'm Valerie. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. You look really nice tonight. Thank you. I, I'm really excited to, uh... Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just like... I get excited and I throw up. What? It's like a nervous reflex. I just, I get excited and I throw up. Is there anything I can do? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Like, I'm totally fine. Uh, mint? Oh, okay. Valerie was like a shark. Sharks have this strange ability to turn their stomachs inside out to vomit up whatever was in their system. They also naturally repel people due to their scary reputation. And I, like any normal fish, was repelled. Hi, my name's Paula. I really like cats. What's your name? Oh, I'm Brian. How are you? I'm good. I mean, I do miss my cats tonight, though. So, what are your interests? Cats. <laughs> How many cats do you have? I have four. Breadsticks, linguine, ravioli, and marinara. Do you want to see them? Sure. Okay. This is Breadsticks. He's my favorite. I took him from a high at Italian restaurant, and he's a really nice guy if you get to know him when he's not foaming at the mouth. <laughs> That's great. Do you have any other interests? Cat memes. I make them myself. Do you want to see some? Uh, no, no. No, thank you. Okay, well, what do you do? Actually, I'm an author. At the moment, I am sort of writing this self-help book. Paula was, well, a catfish. Not in the metaphorical sense, just that she really, really liked cats. So much that I think she should have a pair of whiskers. She was just a bit too obsessed with cats for my liking. Hi, how are you? I'm Maddie. How was your night then? Honestly, I've had better. First I met this girl who was offended by literally everything, and then there was this girl who just threw up, and then she offered me a mint, and I'm not into that. And then there was this cat lady with four cats, and they were all named after Italian food. And I'm not getting anywhere writing my self-help book about how everyone can find someone because I'm obviously not finding anyone tonight. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, totally. So you're working on your self-help book? Yeah, it's for people like you. What? 
you know, the desperate people who can't find anyone in the real world, so they come to speed dating to try to find their Mr. Perfect, but they obviously won't be here. I just went through a rough breakup, and I just lost my job. I was hoping to find someone halfway decent, but I guess you're not it. Goodbye. Maddie was an anglerfish. She draws you in with a nice pretty light until you get too close and suddenly you see the ugly side. She bites you without warning even if you've done nothing wrong. Maddie was most definitely not the fish for me. Hi! How, How are, are you? you? I'm, I'm good. good. So... So... I'm Brian. I'm Brianna. What do you do for a living? I write a little bit. I'm currently writing a self-help book about dating. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm speeding to document all the people that you meet on dates. Honestly though, it's kind of terrible. I've been running into a lot of strange guys and they're either rude or weird and we haven't really been getting along. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel for people to write about. I think I could write about you. I think I should go. I gave up on the book. Fishing is overrated anyway. Is this it? Yeah, just this. You owe me a dollar. You don't own a cat, do you?